At this training facility, things are about to get technical. So what we do in here, we're basically simulating a full plant, if you like, so we can give all the students a um, exposure to what real life things out in the plant, so they've well got a very good um, toolkit ready to go out to, to, for industry. Charles Darwin University is investing $300,000 in the new technology, training students in the jobs of the future. Graduates go on to work in mining and oil, as well as gas and chemical plants. The students, they've got to understand how the whole the interface between our instrumentation, electrical and mechanical and the piping stuff, um, the process operators and the engineering people, how we all come together to make things work, then they understand how the whole system works. Australian Apprentice of the Year, Savan Kenobi, is one of the students learning in the new facility. She says she's fortunate to have access to the new tech on home ground. It has been really good for me, being a territory kid, growing up, being able to stay in the territory to be educated and then further on in my trade meant that I didn't have to go interstate, which was special to me. While there's a shortage of workers around the world, the Territory has already seen an increase in people enrolling into the sector. This year we've had a, a large increase right across the trades area, but um, in electrician enrolments, which send some of those as dual trade instrumentation, we've had probably about a 20% increase. Upskilling workers in a crucial workforce and aligning them with new technology. Peter Lacey, ABC News.